Oh my God, my camera's greasy. Has shrimp scar go juice all over her head. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> Look, it's the Miami Vice Donzi boat. I just, every, every time I see it. <laughs> it's the Donzi from Miami Vice. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> hey guys. Hello, hello. Hey Cheryl, it's Jen. I've got Rob and Robert. We're all here at Universal Orlando Resort today and we're going to go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. As I promised, we're going to do this. We're going to do some windows and some fun stuff today, okay? All right, there's King's Cross Station. Just like the one in England. <laughs> Apparently it's the same. So you could take this right here to you take the train, the Hogwarts Express, off to Islands of Adventure and go see Hogsmeade and Hogwarts Castle. It's 10 minute wait, fabulous, not bad at all. Maybe we could do that and do some windows over there on the yonder other side. Puppies. We've got the lovely telephone booth. Hi Australia, hi Jackie, hi Lori, welcome everybody. This is Genevieve again. Um, we've got the bookstore right here. Uh, there's a lot of little Easter eggs in these windows too, like an ode of Jaws. If you dial magic in the telephone booth, you'll reach the Ministry of Magic. And let's see if Creature is working today, because he wasn't working the other day. <laughs> this is the entrance to Diagon Alley. Very unassuming. Very. A lot of people still don't know where to go into Diagon Alley, but just like Harry did, it's very unassuming brick wall. You have the night bus right here with a conductor and shrunken head. You can have little character interactions right here with him and take some pictures. He's always fun. And up here is 12 Grimald Place, which is the home of the Order of the Phoenix. And right there at number 12, that's the headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix. And let's see if we see Creature the house elf. Mm, we'll see. Creature comes to peak. Come on, creature. But there's number 12, Grimald Place. As you see, it's slightly different than the other flats because it's not visible to the muggle eye. Hmm. I don't think he's working. <laughs> he would have Oh, there he comes. There's Creature, you guys. Hey, Creature. He serves the noble house of black. I love that line. This is my favorite line when he says, I serve to serve the noble house of black. I'm like, I miss serious. Let's go into the regular way. Just the regular way. This is the exit. Just, just so you know, you get the full effect of going into Diagon Alley. More meet and greets, more meet and greets. Always fun, very, very slow day today, you guys, by the way perfect time of year to come. Well, it's also Wednesday. There's hardly anybody here. It's wonderful. Crowds are definitely low. Alrighty, where are we going? Where are we going? So you left or right, either way, there's some bricks. Gonna go through. Got a nice statue right here. Here we go, guys. Welcome to Diagon Alley. <laughs> I say it every time, I know. There's the leaky cauldron to your left. We have quality Quidditch supplies on your right. And we have Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. We're coming to our first interactive window with your interactive wand. And you look for these lovely um, brass plates. This is the Descendo spell. And you point your wand and there you go. I just had to threaten it. Flush the toilet. It's fabulous. <laughs> that one's Descendo. So that's the first window you'll come to. And we can hang a ride, walk through the shop real quick. Huh? Yes, yes. We're gonna do the shop, because it's awesome. Onesies, shirts. They have an adult one. I was looking at their shirt last night and I thought it was just kid sizes, but this is more your Quidditch gear, sweaters, shirts, socks, pins and lanyards, shorts. Look, it's Madame Hooch's Quidditch referee outfit. 
shirts, more house shirts to, uh, to show all your house pride. There's the Nimbus 2001 if you'd like to purchase it. It is available. Hi from California. And we've got some flags there to support your house pride. You can get a golden snitch. Ooh, that's new. <laughs> that's very cute. Nice thin. It's not cold enough to wear this here in Florida yet, but that is very cute. And that is fifty dollars. It's just basically a long sleeve tee. We kind of have this little newer Quidditch outfit that Jenny had in the movies. It just made it like polyester kind of vinyl-y material. It's not that. It's the newer Quidditch outfit. I like the older one better. It'd be great for the rain. Yeah, it's like a raincoat, like rain jacket kind of um, material. But, ooh, that one's nice. That's new, that's really cool. That's really nice. These are just like what they wore for the, what is it, the Triwizard Cup? That's kind of neat, how much is that? It's like a track suit, it says Hogwarts on the back. Is it free? That is really cool though. Oh, it's right here, guys. 150 bucks. If you have team member friends, <laughs> Wait till October. <laughs> you, you do get your team member holiday discount. I know what I'm buying for the team member holiday discount. Yeah, this is um just comes in one size and one house at the moment. Oh, it's just Right, I mean, but one house oh, one is what house. I meant. I'm sorry. Oh, is what the jacket picked up earlier? Yes, yeah, like the track guy. suit. It's like a track jacket track suit. It's very cool. Oh, hello, hello, Heather. Yes. We've got the interactive posters, the Treadley Hands. Yes, I love that. That's really cool. And then you can buy a golden snitch. Did you see the back? Oh yeah, look at the back, you guys. The nice Gryffindor logo. It's beautiful. And oops. Oh, watch out, watch out. Don't back it. Perfect. And this is your Quidditch gear. You can buy a quaffle. If you need a quaffle in your life, if you're playing Quidditch, you get temporary tattoos and lots and lots of magnets and pens. Just basically your, and you also have like Bulgaria and the 472nd Quidditch World Cup. They're also, they had an Ireland one, it must be sold out at the moment. So like representing the teams that you saw in the movie, during the fourth movie, during Goblet of Fire. And they have the kids um, Quidditch robes right now, but they're only for kids. They don't have adult versions of these, they have regular adult robes. And then they have Slytherin and Gryffindor at the moment. Across the way there is the sweet shop. They have one here at Diagon Alley, as well as Zonko's, and uh, the, uh, also one at um, Hogsmeade. So you have a sweet shop at both Diagon and Hogsmeade. So all your like chocolate frogs, birdie bots, every flavored beans, they're all right here. <laughs> I can't eat any of it, so temptation, temptation, temptation. Not even gonna look at it. Yep, you got your lovely, yes, pins. This is the one I have as far as the scarf that I got. I like the ones with the embroidery and um, your house on it because they have plain ones also that you can purchase that just have house colors. But I think these are cooler. Just, just me. And <laughs> um, this is Weasley's Wizard Weezes where you can buy some of the cool things that the guys sold in their shop. Painting pansies, duck on a bike, nosebleed nougat. And you can also adopt your very own pygmy pot, puff. Yes, we're gonna go hit Ollivander's next. I'm just using my wand to point. It's a pointing device today. And you got, there you go, Dolores Umbridge because she's up there. There's actually a cycling, do you see her? If you walk down that hallway, you see her. This is the shop from the top. And there's the skidding snack boxes like they used in the movie. So if you want to be sick for school. And they also have the ear, the extendable ear that they used as well during Order of the Phoenix. There it is. There's just so many cool and unusual things in here. You got love potion if you need some love potion. Sweets and treats. And the pygmy puff. The yeah, jumbo puff. I love it. And, oh, where's Umbridge? Oh, she's right there. She's wheeling herself. <laughs> They've got her working hard. Should we go upstairs? Oh, you can't go upstairs. <laughs> oh, those stairs, yep. Yeah, absolutely. 
more pygmy puff stuff because pygmy puffs are awesome. <laughs> and yep, yeah, extendable ears. Sure. And more umbrage. So, pygmy puff t shirts. And of course, a Weasley's Wizard Weezes t shirt. But we can go into the sweet shop and just take a look at it, being I'm. You know, just just for information, purp sugar plums. There you go. You have all these different treats: ex pepper imps, exploding bonbons, chocolate chalk, glacial snowflakes. Hmm. There's so much good stuff in here. Yeah, the peppermint toads are delicious. Fudge flies. Of course, you have your traditional birdie bots. Um, birdie bots, every flavor beans, because they're awesome. You have the chocolate cauldron and the chocolate frogs right here and you have all the cards in them which you can collect just like in the movie there's exploding bonbons i think jelly oh this is a sugar quill they have the jelly slugs as well oh and the fizzing whizbies that one's another one and they also have the cauldron cakes yummy there's the pumpkin pasties it's almost like an empanada <laughs> Mm, lots of fudge and candy apples and yeah, no milk ice cream. That's what I'm gonna try. Mm. There's also the ice cream shop, and you can have butterbeer ice cream or no, have try butterbeer. No you good. want a no melt? No, okay, excellent. You gotta try it and tell me how it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, sorry. Yep. There's every flavor bean, and they mean every flavor. <laughs> Robert, you're next. Oh, you left your card? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, no. Tom Tom. Choco Choc. Mmm. Too many delicious things. All right. I'm going to pop back out and show you guys where we are. Okay, we're going back in through. They're all connected, basically. The Quidditch shop, the Weasley's Wizard Weezes. You can see all the fireworks up top. That's pretty cool and fun. And we're back here in Diagon in the front. Somebody left their laundry up there. There's Gringotts right there. And there's the dragon. Hopefully she's Fuse fire for us. We have the leaky cauldron right here on our left, and this is the menu on there. You can uh, get your fish and chips, but the best thing here is the specialty chicken sandwich. It's amazing. It's got apple butter. It's delicious. Delicious. And of course, you can get your butter beer in here too. You can get um, frozen butter beer, cold butter beer, or hot butter beers coming up shortly. But frozen butter beer is the best. All right, are they dueling out there? They may be one dueling, huh? All right, just trying to see where I put Rob. He might still be in the uh, footage store. Still looking at stuff because it's way too much stuff in here. <laughs> All right, I don't know where he went. Mm. We'll find him. Can't be that hard. All right, so we're gonna keep on keeping on here. We've got things to do and windows to do. All right, so you can either go straight. Oh, she's up. You will. Up oh, here she goes, guys. She's going to do it. Well, she does an initial growl, so it'll kind of warn you that she's about to spit fire. So that's how you know. This is a little way to Nocturne Alley as well, but we'll go a different way. We've got the lovely Monster Book of Monsters here at Flourish and Blocks, where you can buy all your textbooks. As you see, you have all your lovely textbooks here, including the Monster Book of Monsters. It's growling at you. <laughs> awesome. All right, we're gonna do a quick right over here. And then you have the jellied eels, not shop window. And you also have wands by Gaborovich. 
they sell all the same same wands basically in all the stores. This is not the main shop they have the, in all of Anders. Yeah, he had to go get his uh, credit card and left it. <laughs> so these are just, you know, if you're in a pinch, the line's really long at Ollivander's. You can just um, go and grab one from Wands by Gregorovich, but they're the same exact wands. They have special, um, yeah, the train, that's what you hear, it's the Hogwarts Express. Um, they have the wand holster, the wand holders as well, but the specialty wands that are like, they're not character wands. You can only buy them on Ollivanders. There's a little ad for the Daily Profit. And then there's Sugar Plums again. Uh, you've got the side of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. Oh, nice. We'll have to check it out. Yes, it's awesome. This is my second home. You know, home is Magic Kingdom. This is second home here, Diagon Alley. And we've got a house elf up there. Fantastic, and then of course, we got the owlery if you need to send any owls. We could do some windows. Up, oh, we've got the line for the Aguamenti window right here. See, basically turns on the water fountain and you just do the spell over the mermaid's head. Sometimes she does uh, splash you with some water, it just depends. You could do both sides. This one is that, oh, we just missed the dragon. She'll do it again though in a minute. I promise you'll get it next time. <laughs> <laughs> they got her. They got her. And okay, we've got this window right here. This one is called Locomotor Bellows. And you just point it right up there. And there it goes. Turn on the bellows. So it's very, very easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we're at the blacksmith's. So, alrighty. Like Perfect. Real. And this one is the Reparo spell. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, to be fair, I mean, there you go. Suitor Barmer goes up. So you must have an interactive wand. Interactive wands have the grab, oh, the tip on the end, and um, that's how you know. So they do sell interactive and non interactive, but of course, why wouldn't you want an interactive wand? You can't do any windows unless you have one. <laughs> so. And you've got these lovely, beautiful wand holsters. You know, Rob makes these actually, and we also have the one for your if you have multiple wands and you have a hip holster as well as the gauntlets. So you can check out the shop on Etsy, it's Earsome Emporium, and we have them in all the house colors. I have my black and red Gryffindor one today, but I actually, there's also red and black. I'm just using my black and red one today, just, just for variety. <laughs> Reparo. There it goes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we'll do the locomotor bellows again. There you go, beautiful. We've got the hopping pot right here to go grab some butter beer. Also some adult beverages. They have the Wizards Brew, Dragon Scale Ale, and just regular draft beer. So they do have butter beer and adult beverages. Fire whiskey is basically fireball, but the Harry Potter version. <laughs> So for the adult beverages, you can go here. There's another location too, so I'll make sure I point all of that out. All right, so this is Carket Market. This is what this area is called. We get the Phoenix. There's another one of these ads that actually is magical and moves. This is where they have the stage performance of the Tale of Three Brothers, as well as Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees. So hopefully we'll get to catch one of them today. We'll see. Um, you have shops right here on your left, the Apothecary, just stands that sell pumpkin juice. Over here is Eternalis, they sell elixir of refreshment, basically flavored gilly water. You could buy gilly water, which is bottled water, and you could add different flavorings to them. So it's like babbling beverage, you get the elixir to induce euphoria, fire protection potion, draught of peace, lots of good delicious things and you just add it to your gilly water <laughs> so you could buy gilly water right here and pumpkin juice there you go you have the money exchange if you want to get some goblin money you can you certainly can you can ask the lovely goblin up there some questions usually money related questions you know they'll answer you usually 
So we'll go in there really quick. Let me go in there so we could uh, see what he's talking about today. Bank notes. There you go. You can get some Gringotts bank notes. It's good all over Universal. You, can't, you don't just have to use it here at Diagon or at the Wizarding World. Hello. You, madam. Welcome. How many nuts are in a sickle? Ah, the system consists of three coins. The nut, the sickle, and the gap. There are 29 nuts to a sickle, and 17 sickles to a gallon. Or, a gallon is made up of 493 nuts. Thank you. It's incredibly simple. There you go. Answered all of our questions with the denominations of money. Farewell. Farewell. Now we know all about our wizard money. It's awesome. And now we got some windows to do. Oh my. We've got a secret window right here that doesn't have a, uh, what do you call it, uh, a brass spot. All of them have the little brass plates to figure out what spell you do. And this one's just a secret window. You basically just point your wand into that one. And it gives you a random one every time. Oh, so. I'm sorry. oh no, you're good. <laughs> so you just point it to the window and it'll just usually go. Because that one's a random one. This is like a secret window. So this is the Wingardium Leviosa window. That's always a fun one. That's a spell most everyone knows. Sometimes you have to use it smaller. Hmm. May not be working today. Uh, maybe there was a jinx put on it. That's what they say sometimes if it doesn't work. <laughs> and uh, we'll move on over here to the next. If you notice, there's different mythical creatures from the Wizarding World on the top of Eternals. You have the Basilisk, you have the Unicorn, you have Fox, the Phoenix, you have a Werewolf right over there. So that's kind of cool if you've never noticed that. And this is just like an atrium style market. And this is another window. This one is the Specialis Revelio window. And you basically, yep, it just went. So you just wait for it to reset as most things do. And it's just kind of like an S with a circle around it. So you do that one next. And you've got the side of Gringotts Bank right here. You can see the dragon. And we'll go into Wiseacres. And let's see what they got. Mm -hmm. beer. More stuff. Gryffindor. Shirts, sweatshirts. We got some Hogwarts Express merchandise. That's at least fun too. It's awesome. A jacket. A beer sign. You've got Hogwarts shirts. You've got also this like very astrological themed shop. It's kind of cool. They also have a prop in the window that was from the Jaws ride. It's kind of a, there's a lot of Easter eggs around this area because if you didn't know, Diagon Isle used to be the former home of Jaws. <laughs> so there we go. There's your Gryffindor umbrellas if you get caught in the rain, very important. And just general Hogwarts scarves. They also have phone cases and just a Harry Potter jacket. And then this is the Scribulus store. So you can buy a quill and ink and parchment paper. But there's all sorts of different like school supply stores. You can get a bag and a notebook, backpacks, little bags, little backpacks. And they have all different like wax things you can get and put a little you know stamp on it and seal up your letter and there are stamps right down there but you have all sorts of different forms of paper blue ink i think there's red ink and black ink and there's different kinds of quills and parchment super fun notebooks stamps for all your you know letter writing needs mm, let's see if rob can get it get it working up oh. Rob got it working. 
Yay, there goes the... Oh, okay, I'll slow down for you. Sorry, I just wanted to show you the window really quick. He's got it, he's got it done. All right. Bags and tags, we got this part, we got the whole wall. Clothes. Sneak back here, check out all this other stuff. More clothes. And you got a little ink pot to put all your ink in. That's pretty cute. Notebooks in every house color. And notebooks. Lots of oh, got a whole nother wall here, guys. More quilts, notebooks, notepads. Yep. Yep. All right, sorry about that. I had to move out of the way of some folks really quick there. Pardon me, pardon me. And this is where actually the Grand Gox ride comes out of. It goes right into the shop. More quill up. Oh, we missed the dragon again. Well, she goes off every like 15 minutes. So we'll go visit her in a minute. And you got these little notepads too. They're really cool. They come on the different, um, I think right now they're, oh no, they have them in the different houses. I'm like, I know they have them. Okay, there's a Deathly Hallows one, a Ministry of Magic one, of course. Oh, I don't see a Gryffindor one or a Hufflepuff. Ooh, that's cool. That's kind of pretty. That's new. That's kind of like a beer stein style. And that's how much? $60. $33. Okay, almost 60 bucks. That's pricey. And these I like better if you're looking for a more sturdy backpack. These are more fuller size, and these are $49.95. You have all house colors, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor, and as well as a plain black Hogwarts one. Um, bookmarks, a lot of bookmarks, and then they have some um, Harry Potter phone cases that are just mainly for iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and 7 and 7 Plus fit. So I don't think they have any Samsung or Android ones, just iPhone ones at the moment. Um, you can also buy these little... Whoop, let's not break it, Jen. Let's not break it. <laughs> Whew, gave me a coronary there. It is how much? $52.95. You can have your house crest as well. A lot of Hogwarts t shirts, wallets, coin purses, and the jacket. The jacket's really, really pretty. And another beer stein with your house on it. Neat. It's just so pretty up here. I've got all the different telescopes. We have watches and time turner. A lot of it's just decorative, but the jewelry is like what's for sale, but most of it's just a display. Robert! Yep, <laughs> we found him. <laughs> and we're just waiting. Does anybody know what type of dragon sits on top of Bring Box? Oh yes, I love all the theming, it's awesome. And you've got the lovely solid gold goblin right there on his big pile of money. We also have a secret window in the corner here and we were just at Wise Acres Wizarding Equipment. And this is Gringotts Bank right here. The dragon is a Ukrainian underbelly. That's what she's called. You can see her chains and where they had her all tied up. It was just terrible. So she makes that loud gurgling noise before she goes. So that's how you know, okay, get your camera ready so you can get her, get the fire breathing going. And sometimes when she doesn't spit fire, they say she chokes in a muggle. That's what happens. <laughs> so sometimes that can happen. Then across the way there is the delicious Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor. It's the only place where you could get butterbeer ice cream. It's exclusive to this location right here. Yummy. 45 minutes for Escape from Gringotts at the moment. I don't think it's running, is it? Thanks. 45 minutes. Oh, okay. 
but they're not letting any people in. I was just curious. I think the ride might not be temporarily not working. <laughs> we also have this little secret window right here, which it also doesn't, oh, it does have the, um, the plate. They have a map of all the locations of the windows inside the wall shop. So if you want, we're, we'll head down to Ollivander's. Oh, there he goes. Can you just move your wand around and then it follows, the eye follows your wand. That's a pretty trippy one. It's pretty fun. We should go to the wand shop. The wand? The wand shop. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go to Ollivander's because he needs a wand. We're going to go find Robert a wand. Oh, they also have a sample of the ride vehicle. If you're afraid you're not going to be able to sit in it or ride in it, um, they do have a sample vehicle you can try and make sure it locks all the way down. That's wonderful. Oop, I think it's starting to go now. It's starting to go. Yeah, it was shorter yesterday. It was at 35 minutes yesterday. We're going to explore it all, I promise. Don't worry. <laughs> We're just gonna check out the wand shop. I think everybody wants to see the wand. So this is the, uh, there's like a wand experience here at Ollivander's making fine wands since 482 BC or 382 BC. Yeah, we can go into the wand experience and see if they got one starting. They have one starting soon? Do you have a wand experience starting soon? All right, excellent. We'll go check it out. And that's the little sneak peek of the shop. So we're going to see if we've got a little, oh, well, there you go. I need a self-cleaning broom, don't we all? That's awesome. <laughs> I need one of those in my house. <laughs> yeah. hmm, nobody's at the broom shop at the moment, so we'll go check out more wands. Hello. He does not. <laughs> She lent it to me. <laughs> oh, well, I defeated her in battle. It's mine, right? If you've defeated it, it's yours. What wand did you use to get it? Oh, uh, I had the alder wand. I have an alder. Oh. Yeah, I have an alder. I have 15 wands. <laughs> it's a wee bit of a problem. Yes. Oh, good first of all. Oh. We're just waiting. So, since I was looking for that, I never saw it. Nope, didn't see me. Didn't see me, but Robert's never done this before, so we're definitely gonna oh, well, hopefully. And what house are you from? I'm a Griffin. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. He says. <laughs> I, I had to be partial to the Ravenclaws. My best friend and my son are both Ravenclaws. Of course. And then there's Gryffindor. Then there's Gryffindor, right? I love your little sheep, though. I love yes. Your That's very nice. Actually, yep. He'll be here shortly. He makes them actually. He's a Ravenclaw and he has both one of these in blue oh, and nice. a waist holster too, a hip holster. So if you have more than one wand, as we hit, we're a multiple wand household, we have too many. <laughs> but ah, I understand. <laughs> it's a collectible thing. We collect, we collect wands, you know. more people coming to experience the wand experience. What's going on? It's been a very strange day. Yes. I've been here since early and we'll get a ton of people. Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to show all my... I, I believe the muggles. Oh, yes. Muggles. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? I wasn't involved in the ministry. It's a nice thing. It's a nice thing, kind of, you know. Yeah, because the Muggles did bring some very, very cool things into Diagon Alley with them. They did. Um, they've got the really cool Muggle potion called Espresso. Espresso, I that, like that's that. That's an awesome Muggle potion. From I the, love that. From the Starbucks shop. Uh, yes, I've yes that. from the Starbucks. It's got the mermaid. Yes. I didn't know they had mermaids in the Muggle world. Apparently, who wow. knew? Yeah. <laughs> then they brought Muggle food. Like Muggle food. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. yes, pizza that's Muggle very food. Good thing. And of course, muggle devices. Yes, this is the magical box that um, shows everyone in a very distant land. It's kind of like see, like a crystal ball. Oh. There's a, they're yeah, watching us. Like a, an active pensieve. Yes, yes, an active pensieve, absolutely. Not not memories, not using memories, but current. 
in real time. <laughs> Very good for scrying. It is, it is. Trying to find people and things. Oh, look, it's another Gryffindor. <laughs> We're just everywhere today. <laughs> and what about the two of you? We're waiting to meet the hat to tell us. Ah, the hat's oh, well. a little bit of a break right now. Maybe. What house do you think you belong in? Well, that's your way. Brave. Nothing wrong with Slytherin. And it would be, of course, a Gryffindor who's, who's casting stone. That's right. <laughs> uh, all, there's always one in every moment. <laughs> oh, both houses are great. They yes. got that. But one of the greatest wizards of all time came from Slytherin. Do you know who? I do. Merlin. Very good. Very I'm like, good. <laughs> you paid attention to the history I of magic. I did, I did, I, I did. So, what is your favorite class at Hogwarts? <laughs> oh, I can already tell you, I forgot a good idea. Probably Magical Beast. Oh, oh okay. wonderful. Very good class. That was really interesting. Hmm. I enjoyed that class. Potions was my favorite Potions class. Because that's what I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> Therapy coaches, yes. Muggle studies are very Yes. History of magic, yes. I'm not a big history person. History of magic by Bethel the Bagshaw. Right? Very yes. Good. Yes. Right. <laughs> I am very impressed. What is your least favorite class? Hmm. I don't know all the classes. It just depends on what year you're in. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a Herbology. herbology. Not into yeah, herbology? I was horrible in herbology. Yeah. It's all those screaming but mandrakes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness for earmuffs. 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 Where is that? Yeah, well, it's over in Hogwarts Castle. He's in the castle. Yeah. <laughs> but the story hat is taking a little bit of a break since they've let Muggles start coming into Hogwarts. He's sort of exhausted. Yeah. This is the wand experience. We're waiting to see the. Uh, what do you call? I forget what you call it. The, the wand, wand experience. The wand keeper. That's it. The wand keeper. We're going to see the wand keeper right now, you guys. So he's awesome. So hopefully somebody will get chosen for their first wand. And then, you know, the wand chooses the wizard. So we can see what they get. So this is something you can look forward to when you come here to get your very first wand. Or your 20th here at Ollivander's. <laughs> I tend to be a collector myself. And also, if you want to get away from the heat and get some delicious air conditioning, this is the place. Just gonna walk around and check all the decorations again. We got the second and third floor, which of course is not accessible at the moment. And still the brooms in the shop. The theming is amazing, of course. Feel free to test try, test fly any of our brooms. Well, that's a good way to do that before you make your purchase. So, we're just waiting for the next wand keeper experience, and I will bring you guys with me so you can check it out. Wands are just like shoes or purses. You can't have just one. <laughs> you know? Yay! go guys we're gonna go check this out and all the wands there's just so many and there's wands and wands and wands Ooh, it's a wee bit chilly in here I stay in the back Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Olivanders. Make this five wall since 382 BC. I am a wall keeper. And for those of us who have studied wall lore, it has always been clear that the wand chooses the wizard. It is not always clear <coughs> why. And the two of you 
are here for warms, yes? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now tell me what are your names? My name is Max. And I'm Clara. If you would both please step forward into the light, I may see your more Now you both may know that every olive on the warm has a core of a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and large greens of dragons. Now no two olive on the warm are the same, just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. And of course, you will never get such good results with another wizard's wand. Now, my dear, I shall start with you. I have for you here a wand made of pollen, 15 inches, nice and supple, and it contains the core of a dragon heart string. Now, I want you to illuminate just the tip. Focus on it very carefully. And when you are ready, say, loom. That's something you could do for yourself or for your kids. So we end up at right at Ollivander's. So we'll show the, uh, oh, we have these ones. Oh, there's a corner. Okay, pardon us. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me sneak in the window here. All right, in this corner, you have all of these uh, unusual wands that are basically, if you read it, you find one that calls to you or that fits your personality. Yeah, the altar is the snake. It's that one. Yeah, I don't like it. They don't like it now. You're like, no. I don't like it because it's like demonic. It's not demonic. But the, but the alder on the mirror looks different. Yeah, the alder wood is uh, well suited for making flutes and pipes and for building bridges. Alder people are adventurous travelers and confident decision makers who trust to their inner voices. Alder people should work hard to maintain a balance between work and play. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know? 
We have Birch, Rowan, Ash, Alder, Willow, Hawthorn, the Elder, which is different than the Elder one, that's uh, the Skull one. And then you have the Reed, which is what Rob has, Ivy, Vine, Hazel, Holly, and Oak. So these are all the unique Ollivander ones that do not belong to a specific character or person. So you've, these are 13 unique ones. And they have them everywhere. Just to check the boxes out too, the boxes with the gold. Did you guys do the show? Yeah, we did, we did. They um, got new ones. Oh, there's new ones. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh, wow. So there's more over here, you guys. And that one is new. New? New, yes. Both Death Eaters. Hmm, new? Yeah, this one doesn't look like a Death Eater, but it's a Death Eater one. It is. It's a wow. Death Eater one. Wow. New. That is... Whose is it, I wonder? Katie Bell. Oh, Katie Bell has a one. Whose is that one? Seamus. Seamus, oh, he finally got one. I knew. That's Bill Weasley. Oh, Bill Weasley. Oh, he is on the Gringotts, right? So he finally got represented with a wand. Oh. Can you hear me now? Is that better? Hello? There we go. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to the sound. That is being weird right now. <laughs> uh, which one? This one here? Oh, this one here? That's... Yes. This one is Mundungus Fletcher. Here, this I'll one just is take King's that off. That way you can guys take a, take a listen. All right. All right. Okay, great, great, great. I guess it went out or something. So, if you want to go through the ones, you have, uh, yep, you have Harry, Hermione, Ron, Jenny, Fleur. Dean? Is that. I, I think they do have Oh, no, that's one. Noble. Sorry, Noble. Fleur de la Cour. You got Sirius, and you got Ruth, uh, Remus, Nymphadora, and Bellatrix's uh, crooked one there. And then you have Dumbledore's wand, uh, McGonagall, Mad-Eye Moody, Sirius Black, Draco Malfoy, Narcissa. And then you have the Dark Lord, Voldemort. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then these are just Death Eater ones, too. Oh, these are cool. Like that Swirly Skull one is just really, really neat. These are just random Death Eater ones. They don't really belong. This one's new as well. The older one on the website looks cool. And there's a Seahorse one. Oops, I should break things. There you go. And yeah, these are new. And these are all like good. Where's Fedora have two? No, that's what the gold tag is interactive. Uh, yeah, gold tag that's is what not. I was talking about. How this is uh, yeah, interactive, not interactive. But like, if you just want to display it and you're not wanting to do windows, of course you could do the non-interactive. Ten bucks. Uh, I think it's like ten. Bucks. Ten dollar difference, yeah. So you got Victor Crumb, Cedric Diggory, Cho Chang. Who did you say this one? Katie Bell? No, that's Lavender. Oh, Lavender Brown? That's Katie Bell. Katie Bell and... Oh, Seamus. Okay, then you have the twins. You have Fred and George. Oh. No, Fred. 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 Dean Thomas. Oh, Dean. I always forget Dean Thomas. I'm so bad. Uh, Bill. Bill Weasley. That's George. That's George. They should be together. The twins need to be together. And then Arthur and Molly Weasley's ones. Where's Luna's? Luna is the flower. That's her second one, though. Luna had a... She had a different one. The one that almost looks like a tulip. Yeah, that one is Luna's, but she also had one in the first one. Her one in the set is different than that one. Oh. The one in the set has eight yeah. horns, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, I want to find my pelican. So, there we go. Okay, guys. Do you have that set of the, uh, you have the champions, which is basically Harry Potter. You have Fleur, Cedric. And Victor Crumb. That was from the Goblet of Fire. You also have these wand holsters that you could buy. Holders. I keep saying holsters, but holders. So if you want to display them at home. They also have that one right there. With the uh, Dumbledore's Army Wands. You have, see how Luna's first wand is slightly different than the one that's on there? But that's uh, a set that you could buy as well. But they're non-interactive. That's, yeah. Yeah, it's tied in. But it's Luna's first wand is slightly different. Okay.
we'll go check out the, you have these toy ones too. So, all right, let's see if this dragon will give us some dragon fire. And again, that's another look down Diagon Alley. Honey, I'm just gonna wait for the dragon fire. They want some dragon fire here. All right, we'll check out the dragon. See if she's gonna give us some love today. You can sit up and down there too, hang out by the staircase, get some ice cream. We have the uh, apothecary right here. Slug and Jiggers. And this is a secret window. You see there's no anything. That's uh, the Hogwarts Express that you can hear. But this one's just a little secret window. Hmm. Maybe it's this one today. No, it should be this one. There it goes. And it releases a really funny smell. <laughs> All right, we're waiting for a little Ukrainian underbelly here to give us a little dragon love. She will uh, give us a warning growl, of course. This is Florian for rescues. They have butterbeer ice cream. It is so delicious. A magical menagerie. You could purchase all your magical pets in here. This is another window. This is the Taranto Legro window. And you go ahead and get dancing trolls. And then right next to it is the Fountain of Fair Fortune. Another one to get adult wizard beverages and butterbeer, of course. Got some frogs over here. This is a trooper. And this is the Silencio spell. You basically just silence him, which I think they did successfully, isn't it? There we go. Now he starts singing again. And you just do the spell to silence him. You gotta have a silencing charm before you could own that. You see? It says silencing charm included with purchase, but license is required. You can get a little photo op right here on a serious little tricycle, but um, you know that. Hagrid drove to take Harry to Ford Privet Place. Privet Drive, sorry, Privet Drive. Hmm, what is that dragon telling us today? Also, this is one of the safest places to be in Orlando because all of these um, buildings are fireproof. It's made to withstand hurricane force winds as well as because of the fire breathing dragon, all of these buildings are built to like a very, very fireproof code. And that's Carket Market again, straight ahead. That's the lockers right there. If you want to get on the uh, Gringotts ride, you have to deposit everything in a locker. It is free. You don't have to worry about paying for it, but you have to check everything in. We have, yep, Sunday cups, cones. They have soft serve and regular hard pack ice cream in here. The line's always pretty long. Uh, you have the wizard bathrooms right here, super fun. We can go inside the magical menagerie real quick and check out the animals. Hmm. Of course, now that we're outside, we're not getting dragon fire. <laughs> There's Crookshanks. There's the little rat, Ron's rat. There's Pygmy Puffs. There's the Hippogriff, Buckbeak. And you have, I think, Oh, you have a toad, Neville's toad, many, many owls. You got fox down there. You got an enchanted glow-in-the-dark snail. And if you go down the hallway, you, you, can, 
You can hear the snake. See, he speaks parcel tongue. So if you can speak parcel tongue, you can understand him. Relatives, you know. Scary. We got the wizard bathrooms. This is not the one we're moaning Myrtle's at. It's a different one. And down this way is Morgan and Burks. And this is another window, another window, interactive uh, spot. This is the meteorology. Oh, here she goes, you guys. She's going, she's going. Here she comes. A muggle. Oh no! Uh oh, she did it. I think she choked on a muggle, you guys. No! <laughs> hmm. We'll give it a minute. It'll go again shortly. So you can get your delicious flavors of butterbeer in here. And this is the making it rain wizard style one. I love this one. This is an incendio one right next to it. And all the lights turn on at the shop. This one's a lot more fun at nighttime. This one, the fountain turns on. You got all your lizard, little wizard helpers here to help you out. Everybody's making it rain today. Morgan and Burke's sister Nocturne Alley and they'll go in there in a moment. And this is the Fountain of Fair Fortune. So we'll just uh, check out all their beer selections here and beverages. We have butter beer, frozen butter beer, which is my favorite. Cold when it's, of course, cold. I mean, like hot, I mean, during, during when, it, when it's cold, but that doesn't happen for a little while longer. Fishy green ale, gilly water, which is just a bottle of water, lizard's brew, dragon scale ale, just draft beer, basically, and fire whiskey. So that's pretty awesome, sorry. There we go, lots of rain going on. We had a little issue with the dragon. We'll see if she goes again. She should be going on, giving us a little show here in just a moment. You really can feel the heat when she uh, goes. It's very, very obvious <laughs> and hot. But they did such an amazing job here at Diagon. It's just so themed, so amazing. There's the Obscurus books for anybody who has uh, watched or read Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. That's kind of cool that they have that there, like an Obscurus. So that's pretty awesome. Hmm. This is the ice cream shop. It's we have waffle cones or cups. Lots of people. It's always packed. <laughs> so we'll go down Nocturne Alley and let's see what we've got there. It's not too terribly busy now. The park does close at seven again today. It's just we got all these lovely wizards and witches to help us out. They're wearing the black because we are closer to Nocturne Alley. We've got the Skelligoro potion right here. Remember when uh, Harry broke his bones? I wish you could purchase the Skelligoro bottles because they're amazing. Hey, Teresa. Oh, good for you. That's right. 15 days. Awesome. And there's the Skelligoro potion. So fun. All right. That's backstage. We can't go there. <laughs> we'll go to Nocturne Alley. And let's go check out Borgen and Burke's shop. We'll give them time to hopefully get that muggle out of the dragon's way, so she'll give us some good stuff. It's very dark and spooky. 
This is the Alohomora one. And you could do one right here. This is the Incendio one for the little bird. Let's see what happens. Oh, he got fluffy. He's so fluffy. And you can, you can do three different ones. You can get spots, big feet, or fluffy feathers. This one's a fun one. Very standard book of spells, level one. Alohomora spell. It's the unlocking spell. So you basically just point it right there and do Alohomora. 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 Hmm. Am I too close? Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> there it goes. Get the eye and then you turn it. Oh, it does. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to give it to me there. But you got spiders crawling in the windows. That's always fun. Cool. Because remember, this is not turn out. This is where all dark witches and wizards go purchase their things. So, we've got, there's so many details, it's just so fun. We have all these interactive posters that move and move right back. You have all these drawings that move inside this as well. This is the, un, at the Undertakers and um, Embalmers. You see how that the pictures move? And as well as the painting of the Basilisk and the Death Eater over there. They do move, so that's really cool. The chimney is not working today, so we can't do that window. <laughs> and Borgen and Burks is right here to your left for all your wizarding needs. You also have another window right here. This is the Mimble Wimble one. Ah, hi. Hi, everyone from London. Okay. There you go. I got them. <laughs> this one's a fun one. It's a troll one. You could basically dance. So we'll go in here. This is one of my favorite shops. This is Borgen and Burks. Uh-oh. We've got some lovely decor. <laughs> A lot of cursed items like the necklace. There we go. And we'll go this way first. We'll go uh you're good. We'll go check out the hand of glory in a minute. We have some wanted posters, of course. Harry Potter, number one undesirable, Sirius Black, Fenrir Greyback, Askaban Prison Wear, Crystal Skulls. And there's the cursed necklace. You also have Lucius Malfoy's walking stick and his wand that is amazing. Super fun. You also have Bellatrix's dagger. The Deathly Hollows necklace, naturally. We'll go to the other side and, oop, I'm so sorry, pardon me. I'm going to show you the, oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to show you the Hand of Glory. There it is. They do have the Hand of Glory here. Do not touch first. Has claimed the lives of 19 Muggle owners to date. There it goes. <laughs> they will move once you walk by. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Got some shirts, some troll feet. You have the Death Eater masks of Bellatrix and Lucius Malfoy. You have Salazar Slytherin's locket. And of course, Marola Gaunt's ring. And of course, Tom Riddle's diary with a removable basilisk fang. 
you have all your horcruxes right in one spot. So important. Lots of spooky like skull merchandise here. You get a Death Eater necklace and bracelet set. The Dark Mark necklace and earrings. Super fun. Oh, hey, I have, oh, you got, which one did you get? Willow. Ooh, Robert got a, that's a nice one. It's got a nice handle. That one's pretty. I like it. He's got a wand. Yay. <laughs> oh, there's Nagini, but no. Like all the all the Horcruxes are right there. I was just showing them. You have Salazar Slytherin's locket, Marvel Legant's ring, the Basilisk Fang, and Tom Riddle's diary. How much is the ring? They're I'm not sure. fifty bucks, I think. It's not bad. You got some Death Eater. That shirt looks familiar. So this is more for your dark witches or wizards, but of course it's my favorite shop. I love it. I love it. Get so many cool, like, just they just have cool outfits. I'm wearing my Death Eater shirt today. There's that's a new one, and also you have phone cases for six and six, six plus, seven plus. There's a Serpent Sorcia and another Serpent Sorcia shirt. And this is the Vanishing Cabinet. I don't know if you guys remember that one from the movie, it's amazing. You could definitely touch it, and you can hear the bird inside. Listen. Hear the bird? He's in there. You also have these different crystal skulls. Um, I have this little guy in my house. I use him to hold makeup brushes. <laughs> uh, diaries and more shirts. Yeah, these are so cool. There's a uh, hourglass. I think these are like brass. These are pretty heavy. Little baby ones. Oh, there you go. I'm actually wearing this shirt today. There you go. That's what I'm wearing today. Oh, look. We got Shrunken Head. He's new. So, there you go. Formaldehyde Solution. And you have all this other Death Eater masks up there. I'm not sure who they all are. They're not. The two that they have for purchase are Lucius and Bellatrix's. But the theming inside Borgen and Burks is amazing. So it's my one of my favorite shops. And of course, there's a Boggart inside this trunk. See how he's moving and shaking because in, he's inside. There's a Boggart in there. <laughs> so. Like oh like yeah, and <laughs> Indiana Jones. That's the wrong one. That one we don't speak of. That one we don't speak of here. Yep. But I love that. It was terrible. Oh yes. But too many cute things at the store, so definitely a one to check out. The All right. New King the fridge. Oh boy, they're talking about Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. I don't even remember remember the movie. I think I blacked it out from my memory. That is Bellatrix's, Bellatrix's dagger that killed Sirius. Cause she's oh, killed Dobby. That's right, killed Dobby. Cause she's an evil, evil woman. <laughs> Yay! Awesome, Ruth. Awesome. Hi, Denise. Thank you so much. I love it. It's this. The Wizarding World same, holds the same appeal to me as obviously Disney. Disney's my number one love. That's in my DNA. There's the, yeah, the hand of glory. Did you see it? I got you already. Oh, got Robert. He said it still popped up. We'll do this one next. This one's fun. This is the one where you can dance, dance. You basically point it and then you dance. Like it follows your motion. So if you're, you know, you show off all your best dance moves. It's awesome. Bye. It's like you just gotta get to the troll skeleton. Because usually it'll go to like oop, a different one. Then you gotta flip it back to the troll skeleton, of course. And then you move around and it follows your movements. Fabulous. Alright. Yeah, this one's not working today. It usually turns red. Yep. Well, we can do more windows. We have more windows to do. Huh? I Oh, you did! Alohomora. 
took a minute. It's practice, practice, you know. And that one, we'll watch this one. Check out that. Oh no! Just check out that poster. Phoenix Firelighters from ashes to blaze and a flash. Oh yeah, this is another good place to just chill out, enjoy a butter beer, and get out of the sun for a minute. It's going. The clouds are moving. How oh, it gets better. Oh, there it goes. Up in flame. Oh, too bad we had to see him on a burning day. <laughs> and just like the phoenix, or just like a phoenix, he will rise up from the ashes. There, you go. there he goes. Oh, better now. There you go. And he's back. Awesome. All righty. Let's go do some more windows. Did you do the uh, Did you do the blacksmiths yet, Robert? No, he didn't have a one. Ooh. Up oh, here she goes, guys. She's going. She's going. I hear her. Oh no! Did she choke again? Muggles at Diagon Alley. Hi. Oh no. We're missing her dragon fire. You hear her make a sound before she goes, so they say if she doesn't go, she's just choked on a muggle. There are a lot of muggles at Diagon Alley right now. Uh-oh. Oh well. We'll go check out some windows. You gotta do some windows, guys? She choked on a muggle again. No, that was the train going over us. Oh. The wasn't no noises. But she didn't do it. She made her sound earlier, but she didn't do it. Mmm, yummy. Stewed eels, guys. Appetizing. Jelly deals, not my cup of tea. That's the train. That's the train. Hogwarts Express. <laughs> There's Dobby. Dobby is free. Two trains. I think there's pins as well on the other side. Yeah, you have lanyards and pins and keychains. They have amazing pins. You could be all your house ones in Prefect or Head Boy or Head Girl. You've got all the different magical creatures and things. Seeker. Yes. Dumbledore. Dumbledore's Army. I have that one in my robe. Ooh. Oh, I didn't go into Madame Malkin's. I'm going to go to Madame Malkin's and show you guys. Oh, here, let's go play with a mermaid. Nobody's playing with her today. So you go there, and you see the plate, and you go Aquamenti, and it turns on the fountain, or she'll spit at you. It just depends, you know, <laughs> what she's feeling like today. I'm going to go to Madame Malkin's and go check on some school robes. We already went in. Oh, we haven't, so we're going to go. All right, they already went into Madame Malkin's. They're no fun. <laughs> We're gonna go check out the school robes and show you guys where you could buy your robes before you go into Diagon. You gotta have your school robes. It's kind of hot right now for that, but <laughs> still. All right, Cottages is a cauldron shop. A number two size cauldron, future cauldron. There we go. This is Madame Mountains for all your robe needs. Hats. Sweaters. See, they have all the different robes. All different sizes. They're $114.95. So, they're polyester. They also do have, so they'll last you forever. They also have a, um, the weather right now, oh no, it's hot. <laughs> Too hot to wear a robe, but they do have a wand pocket right here. All robes do, which is nice because you could put your wand right in there and then, you know, whip it out when you need it. And there's also um, pockets on the outside, which is lovely. So you could put your things in there, your 
your muggle devices and such, you could put it in there. It's still about in the high 80s, 90s today. It's just not as humid today, so it's not too bad. But you have, it, it's still warm, guys. <laughs> too, too warm to be wearing robes. Some people do it. I don't know how they do it. You also can have um, Hermione's dress for the Yule Ball, if you'd like. And this one is $99.95 for that dress. You also have the lovely mirror that tells you how you look. Hmm. See what she has to say today. Hmm. Usually she's pretty sassy. Pajamas. Shirts. Just sassy wizard wear. You got this nice ball gown right here with the awesome magical train. Yeah, it's so warm. Love the robes. They just look fabulous. Some jewelry. You could buy watches. Time turner. Just the earrings. Oh, these are the charms. Okay, there's different necklaces up there. And then they have the Sorcerer's Stone necklace. These are all the Lumos charms. They're $20 a charm. They go in these Lumos bracelets right here. They're, they're for charity. They're like a charm bracelet. They have one in each house. There's Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. And you can add charms to them. I usually buy two charms per year at the Celebration of Harry Potter just to commemorate it. Dolores Umbridge's pin. So there's a lot of really cool jewelry. There you go. You could pull the hood up. Definitely by January, it's cold enough to wear the robes. It's just a wee bit too hot right now. <laughs> That's why the little wand holsters uh, come in handy for sure. Pillows. It's a lot of decorative accents, of course. Super fun. But this is Madame Malkin, so this is where, and you also have like the sweaters like Ron and Harry had. They're, you know, they're a little bit pricey. They're like $89.95, but they're actually real wool from Scotland. So they're imported. They come from there. And you also have your headbands to match your house. As well as pins and lanyards. You got the vests too. Definitely hot to wear your skirt, vest, shirt, and robe. But you also have uh, patches that you could buy. And then your neckties, of course. But January, December, definitely a little a little bit cooler. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, nope, that's a train. I was getting all excited. I thought she was gonna go. <laughs> Everybody's waiting on the dragon. Maybe we need to say Dracarys and it'll work. <laughs> so, Alrighty, let's see what other things we can go look at. We might need to go to the other side to see if we have time to go on the other side. Unfortunately, the park closes very, very early today. It closes at 7, so there's not too much you can do. It's just the early closures, and there's no show today either. She's wearing her robe. She's powering it out. It's got a nice breeze, and it's it's still warm, though. If you wear, like, shorts and t-shirt underneath, maybe it won't be so bad. There we go. Everybody's waiting for that one. We'll do this one. No wait. <laughs> today. Shouldn't it just be usually right in this window? Oh, am I too high? To the top right hand corner, usually through this window, you're going to make a W. Up oh, there it goes. It did it. Very nicely done. Yay. It says mind your own business. <laughs> Sassy. Oh, mine had a secret place, secret time. Ooh. Secret place, secret time. Oh, mine said mind my own business, but whatever. Oh, ink blocks. Oh, you got the, the commercial. From porridge to potions, your secret recipes are safe with invisible ink. Okay. 
It's cool. This is one of the hardest windows to do. It always gets stuck. But there's the dragon again. She's just not going to give us any fire today. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah but of course, whenever I'm not here. I'm like, Dracarys! It just won't go. Uh, incendio then, incendio. Give me fire, give me fire. Well, we'll give her another minute here and see if she'll, um, got clocks. Anybody need some clocks? Very cool. Yep, I guess Springgoth is down again. No fun. They changed the goggles, by the way, and it's so much better. The ride is so much clearer. It's amazing. They, your goggles now look like um, Quidditch goggles, so it's pretty cool. We're not gonna get anything today. Come on, dragon. <laughs> She's not giving us any love. All other windows are working, though. Okay. The detail, you can see all her little scars and wounds and chains. Poor thing. We need one good dragon fire here. <laughs> of crowds. This area is always busy. It is open during Halloween Horror Night. It's the best time to go to Diagon Alley. Nobody's here. That's the train again. Hmm. Oh well. We'll have to do her next time. So there you go guys. That's my little walk through Diagon Alley. And I will see you guys again soon. Again this is Genevieve. Thank you so much for joining me at the Universal Orlando Resort, Diagon Alley, and I will see you guys later. Thank you, bye.